Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Barry, you're out here supporting your Yemeni brothers, Slim. How long have you known them for, uh, to start off with? Well, I've known, I've known about these guys for years. These guys are a different level. Um, obviously, you've got this guy here, uh, the champ, and you've got the future champ here, bro. Slime, you've got Adam Salah. Bro, these guys are putting uh, Yemenis on the map. I was saying to these guys yesterday, it was the first time they've been to uh, the Ingle Gym. Crazy amounts of history there. Obviously, you've been there from day one. Are you going to give them a tour? They're always welcome, bro. They went there yesterday. There's not really much to see, but um, it's got a lot of history with the Yemenis because obviously Sheffield's got a lot of Yemenis there, and um, all the Yemenis they just they love the, the Ingle Gym in it because of Naz. And what, what do you think of the um, the whole influencer game? I know you just said to me off camera you, you enjoyed that press conference. Bro, that was the best press conference I've ever been to. That was unbelievable um, from the beginning to the end. You know, just. I don't know, bro. I don't know if, because these guys have got nothing really to lose. The way they talk, everything, man. It was just, bro, prime time TV, bro. So, Dan, what, what did you think of that? I mean, it's, it's the level of entertainment that they have versus real strict boxers, you know? It's like they're in their entertainment life. That's what they go through. So, it just, it gets crazy, you know? These guys want to fight each other. You see how crazy, you couldn't even get a face-off. They would not do a face-off after because they, they know if they do a face-off, a fight's going to break out. That's how crazy it got. But it was very entertaining. It was very funny. I love it, man. This is something new to boxing, you know? This is bringing more fans to boxing. I like it. Are you concerned or worried about potential headbutts, you know, because that's what Ryan did in his last fight? I mean, that, that's for the ref to look out for. Also, as a fighter, come on. A fighter like Ryan Taylor, you see everything he's about to do. Even Slim. Slim, Slim is still working his way up, but even him as a fighter, you're going to see everything he does. There's no way he should be in the inside and headbutt you. When, when, when he's in the inside, duck over to the left, and you hold him. There, there's no way he can really... you got, you got to be able to defend from a headbutt as well. This guy could get dirty. you got to be prepared for that. But I just don't think he's going to be able to do that. I think Slim is just going to catch him with something clean, jump on him. There's going to be no time for him to even get dirty, you know? Definitely. And Khalid, what's it like for you? Obviously, you got Saddam here, you got Barry. You're like the next generation Yemeni that's going to try and make it on the world stage? Absolutely. You know, these guys have obtained what I want to obtain, inshallah, in the future. And, um, you know, they paved the way. They paved the way as a Yemeni. And... I'm, I'm next, inshallah, very soon. I'm going to put you in the spot here. If you could take one skill from Saddam and one skill from Barry, what would you take from each guy? Man, I'd take something from everybody. <laughs> uh, You're going to have to pick one from each. Barry's job is amazing. Saddam, uh, his, his, I would say... Footwork. His footwork is amazing, uh, but I would also say his combinations. Mm. He got beautiful combination. He fakes in between the combination. He'll literally fake throw a hook, come back with the right, then throw a hook, then fake the right and come with an uppercut, you know, so I, I, I try to take a little bit from that as well. Good man. Uh, and that's it, guys. Enjoy the show. And uh, Barry, when can we see you next in the ring? We'll have to wait and see, brother. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> that's all I'm going to ask you. Thank you. Appreciate your time.